Good morning. Before you make that major electronics purchase, you might want to listen to this video. So, first off, full disclaimer, I am not going to confirm or deny anything. So, as far as comments, asking me about companies, asking me about products, I am not going to say. <laughs> I am not. I can't. Legally, I cannot. But it's reached a point to where I can't take it anymore. And folks need to know what's happening behind closed doors, so to speak. And again, I am not going to confirm anything at all. So don't even try. I, I have, I know at least... Uh, at least a year, year and a half or so, at least. Um, so, I won't confirm anything. I'll leave it at that. But what I want to tell you is that there are companies out there that are producing products that they know beyond a doubt that that product isn't going to meet expectations not even by a long shot some of these companies are pushing forward with this equipment okay regardless of anything else regardless of what the results from testing were regardless they just push forward with it there's a lot of this going on, and it's, I'm sure, not just one company doing it. But right now, you have companies that are in a major competition with one another because, you know, you always hear about when that wave comes, you got to ride it, and that's exactly what's going on. That wave has come, and they're trying to ride it for all it's worth. However... The people that take the brunt of all of that are the consumers. Because you have companies out there that can't even get the important parts of a product working right. And here they're throwing on ton after ton after ton of feature this, feature that. Now you can do this. Now you can do that. Now we've got an even bigger one, right? They keep people spun up. Oh, no, you got to have this one, too. And, and in fact, uh, some of them, if you go to their like their Facebook pages and stuff, you will see the amount of insanity, in my opinion. I mean, it's insanity. People are making a lot of foolish decisions when it comes to these electronic gadgets, if you will. And I've spoken depth about it i've spoken in depth about um where you should cut off buying the pretty little box right because believe me there's a major cutoff there <laughs> major major cutoff i would say this i would not spend over about 1200 or 1300 dollars on a quote unquote solar generator okay if the unit you're buying or looking to buy cost more than that, go to Renogy's website. This isn't rocket science, folks. Go to the Renogy website and go look at what kind of equipment that you can get for the same amount of money. These solar generators, especially the larger they get, are a massive ripoff. And Right now, you've got tons of, of these manufacturers that are fighting tooth and nail to get the edge on the other one, right? Well, these are the features that we have. These are the features that we have. One of them right now just put out its biggest unit yet. And now, after all, this year, all these years of producing equipment, 
Now they're boasting a zero millisecond switching time so that you can supposedly use it as an uninterruptible power supply. Now, mind you, the entire time, they have been giving potential customers kind of a notion that it's, it's you know, going to be something that you could use as a UPS, right? Then when you dig into the nuts and bolts of it, you find out, oh, no, you can't. You know, <laughs> three millisecond switching and zero millisecond switching are not the same thing. And so lo and behold, all these years, now this particular company's got a zero millisecond switching on. Right. How much is that damn device? Right. You can keep it. Folks, greed will destroy anything, anyone. And it's saddening for me because there aren't a lot of companies that I see that I'm like, oh, wow, wow. These folks are awesome. You know, these folks got it right. It's so disheartening to sit there and watch them in the name of greed turn upside down the very things that made them great flip it upside down turn it around inside out and now I can't even recommend them to people it's sad I'm sure by now you can tell there's a whole lot of stuff that's being unsaid and I can't help that. There will come a day that I can say it and I will say it. I've got over a terabyte, over a terabyte of video content that I have saved, that I have held on to just in case if this winds up some kind, if there's a legal uh, battle that ensues. Because there could be. I was disgusted on a level like you could not believe with a particular company. When they found out that their product wasn't working as intended, not even close. They compartmentalized everyone. In other words, instead of to talking openly about the issues and what workarounds and this and that, oh no. Now it went to private messages. So that way, nobody knew that others were having so many problems as well. And I caught that the moment that it was done. And that was the moment in my eyes, my life, that I realized this company's not any better than the rest. Watch who you spend your money with. Watch what it is you spend your money on. I'm out of uh, favorite companies at this point. I don't have one. I don't have a, a, a company that I can look at and say, no, they're doing it right. I want to say so much more, folks. And forgive me because I can't. In time, I will. When I can, I will. What is really mind-blowing to me is that there are individuals that know the very same things that I know. There's an individual that wound up with a fair amount of damage to their car.
that are out there simping for these companies and, and pushing, convincing people that they need to buy their products. Don't, don't listen to a single word from an influencer. I'm telling you, don't listen to a single word from an influencer. Because I firsthand saw how a product that more than half the time couldn't function even close to properly was being pushed as if it was the latest, greatest thing since sliced bread. And it had no issues. Don't listen to these influencers, folks. Don't. Just don't. And if you're going to dump a, a fortune out, for a solar generator. Please heed my warning. Over about twelve, thirteen hundred dollars, you need to start looking for more common sense solutions, okay? Because you can build, you know, you throw two thousand dollars at the issue, you could build a pretty impressive damn little system for a couple of grand that would just absolutely swamp the capabilities as far as the uh, capacity, as far as the output, um, that would just swamp the capabilities of a, a solar generator. You know, one guy, uh, when I was in a back and forth, was telling me you know, the aesthetics, the aesthetics. He was trying to explain to me why it was better to go with one of these expensive, overpriced pieces of crap um, that's got too many functions to be useful for anyone. That, by the way, will likely cause you to lose a freezer full of meat or God knows what all else because of their features. Um, yeah, don't do it, folks. If you're going to spend over twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 for a summer dinner, then don't. Go to Renegy, go to their website, and build a system. It's not hard. It's rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's just not something you're going to be able to wow your friends with, which is where the big part of the problem lies in this whole issue. Because people, a lot of people, not if you're watching this channel, it's probably not the case, but there's a lot of people that are buying these as a status symbol because they're the new pellet stove, they're the new charcuterie board, right? So they're buying them to play and to impress. The unfortunate thing is, is when companies pick up on that, they feed into that. And you'll wind up with junk products that sound really cool. What you wind up with? That's pretty much where we stand today. Pretty much where we stand today. If you're going to spend over twelve, thirteen hundred, 1300 just look at building your own system. You're going to wind up much better off. And if you have an individual component of that system go out, you can replace it instead of the whole damn thing being bad. It is incredible the amount of bogus um, excuses and arguments that you will get by going to these groups' Facebook pages and just trying to talk common sense. You will get the most nonsensical diatribe of why you should throw all common sense and practicality out the window to buy one of their overpriced pieces of crap. Unbelievable. Think before making that ma major purchase this year. Because these companies are trying to lure you in, not really trying to give you a good product. Not not at this point in time. Not at this point in time. Hopefully that'll change, but I, I can guarantee you it will not change until the fad part of it goes away. While there is such a demand and, you know, such lack of oversight, they're going to be pushing, pushing, pushing to try to one-up the other companies. Competition is good, folks. 
but only to a certain level. When that competition starts providing the opposite of what it should be providing, that's when it's time to call off the game. You know what I mean? Or at least don't take part in it. And that's my advice to you. Don't take part in their game. Be smarter than that. Be more practical than that. And be more satisfied than that. So just heed my warning. My apologies for the vagueness. Many of you will will put it together. I am not confirming anything. Just know. Just know. That I got to see some pretty low crap. That's all I can say. With that, be careful. It's Thanksgiving. I'll tell you happy Thanksgiving, even though I'm not a holiday person. Um, I'm, I really, I'll just, I'll leave that, I'll leave that subject alone. Some people don't have so many reasons to be thankful for. So, I'll just leave that at that. Anyway, I'm out of here. Just before you click that add to cart button, think about it. Shalom.